Hey everyone, I am back for the second and final video. Ladies and gentlemen, I have social media accounts, but don't worry, I will discuss that matter after this part of the video is over. Now, switching gears, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab some meat, or grab some to drink, or maybe, just maybe, you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on this subject. And of course, the link will be down below, or the article will be down below. Now, in this video, it will be strictly an article. Oh, by the way, has anyone out there seen the very first video of the day? If not, smash that bell, and of course, you will get a notification from YouTube. No further ado, let's get on with the show on the road. Now, we have not seen or heard any news about Randy Orton. You know why? He had back issues, he had back surgery, and last time we really saw him on television, him and Riller team up to defend their belts against Usos. And ever since that, Usos had been dominating the tag team division on Raw and even on SmackDown. Now, listen to this. Speaking of Randy Orton again, probably you guys will be very excited for this. Randy Orton could be around for WrestleMania 39 after a spinning close to a year on the shelf with an injury. Orton hasn't competed for WWE since May of last year when he and Matt Riddler lost the Raw Tag Team Belts to the Usos. PW Insider report that there are currently plans for bringing Randy Orton for WrestleMania 39 in Los Angeles, California next month. Hmm. I wonder what that could be. Will it be like a huge distraction? Does someone become new champion? Like in a tag team match? Maybe. Or maybe it will cost um, Rome Reigns the title and then have Cody Rhodes become champion. Who knows? Maybe you will have you will hear his music and he's actually not there there, you know? We'll see. Or maybe W will change their plans again and say that moment the night after WrestleMania on that Monday Night Raw because that Monday Night Raw is always major surprises, major debuts, that kind of thing. You know, you don't wanna have the whole um, return or debut at Mania. You want to have it is, is, you know, at Mania. But if he returns at Mania with no take no bumps just there to be there, that place will go insane. The roof will blow off the, the building because they have a roof in that building, you know. So that's it, you know. Now, some of you think he should just hang it up because he had battling a lot of injuries. I agree with that. But I guarantee you he wants, he wants to have one more run until he's done done, you know. I know age does not matter for wrestling. But once you get older, once you have injuries, it's going to keep piling up. And look what happened to him. That flipping sucks. You know, he should retire a long time ago. But I guess it's in his blood of keep doing it, you know. So... I don't know what W has planned for him. I have no idea. So, sorry, you could see my glass. You could see the video through my glasses. So, I do apologize. That's why I do this all the time. Anyway, let me move this this way. So, maybe if he returns, Matt will return, will return at WrestleMania. Or, they might say, Matt, I'm a Night Raw. Who knows? I'm not a big fan of Matt. I prefer Randy, hands down. So, I don't take... Matt seriously at all. Do you take him seriously? Do you take Randy more seriously? I do because he had a mean streak in him and he of course he'd been healed so many times on the main roster. So maybe one day Matt will turn heel. Hopefully. You never know. Maybe when he returns, not right away, but maybe six months from now or six weeks from now. What no you never know about the way what they have plans for him. But you can't take Riller 
funny. He's like a goofball, you know. His character is, you know. But anyway, I wonder what's the original plan if Wart never got injured at that May um, show on SmackDown. Are they supposed to still lose the belts against the Usos? I wish they never lost the belts to the Usos. I wish Randy Orton and Riddler won all the gold, but you know, I guess it all worked out for the Usos. Randy Orton had to have surgery. Not in a good way, in a bad way, you know. And now he's taking time off, spend time with his family. You ever notice that when a wrestler, female or male, gets hurt, they could spend more time with the family, but if they're healthy, they don't have that much time because they're always on the road, always on the road. I don't know how much time do they get off, probably not much that they want to. Anyway, that wraps it up. Follow me on Instagram, Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, all my social media accounts. Will be down below if you want to be part of the Raw show. That's fine. And if not, don't worry about it. Enjoy your rest of your um, Thursday, and I'll be back tomorrow. Peace out and stay safe.